but I'll go ahead and uh, call the meeting to order. Uh, we have two items on the agenda this evening of the regular meeting of the Planning Commission. Uh, first one, Shannon Claybrook's property on 222 North Anderson Street. Okay, you're Shannon. Um, you had received some notification from the city regarding the property. Yes, sir. Okay, did you, would you like to address us on what your intent is at this point? Yes. Well, I'd, I'd like to keep the, um, the same original plan. And I, first of all, I'd like to apologize for not getting it done in the time that I was supposed to get it done. Um, so the, this is my new plan. It's just a timeline of, of what I'd like to see. Um, I get, could you give us some, some history to you? I mean, what sure. happened to the house? But. <laughs> sure. Um, the, the history of the house is that um, it, it was my first house, and I bought it from Joe Shields. And, um, or me and my wife were buying it from Joe Shields. Our family got traded. We decided to um, sell it on a land contract. Um, this was back in 2003. And um, the people that were, we were selling it to, basically, um, they were supposed to maintain the house and keep it updated. Um, that was part of the terms of, I didn't do a signing agreement. I knew the people. I, I thought I could trust them. Well, me and my wife were activated back in 2003. Um, she went up to Wisconsin. I went down to Georgia. After three months, I came back, and the house was totally destroyed. Um, when, I, when I got in to, to redo the house, I, I gutted the inside of it, and I found that there was an old septic well underneath of it that was uncovered. Um, the, the kitchen part must have been a breezeway at one time because it was built right onto the ground. The, the floorboards had rotted out from underneath from a leak that they, they um, did not repair. So this house was totally destroyed by your renters. Well, no, well, over a three month period. Well, it was um, the leak from the bathtub was allowed to run out underneath the ground and just rot the floorboards. Um, I don't know how much damage the floorboards were already had already had from being built right onto the ground with no foundation whatsoever. So they had a bathroom leak that went up. Correct. Okay. Um, they had I had a laminate floor down in the living room where they had just nailed nailed everywhere through throughout. They were shooting deep there were some shooting BBs into the drywall. They, they were they had their gas shut off. Um, so they were heating with kerosene. It got into the the plaster of Paris and the and the wood slats and the and they had pets in there and it just smelled horrible. And so I decided to go ahead and gut the place and try to rebuild back onto the same footprint. Apparently those those home improvement shows make it look a lot easier than what it is because I, I was um, in way over my head and um, didn't realize it until after I had it half torn down and just didn't have the financing due to a past bankruptcy to, to be able to, to build that from that um, right away. So it just kept snowballing. I tried to ignore it, obviously, and um, it, did, it just didn't go away. And, um, and now that my bankruptcy is completely off, um, I'm not sure if, if the banks now are going to be able to lend me any money um, due to financial crisis. But I'm trying. I, I've got some I got some backup plans, too. Some of the people that came out and gave me um, estimates on it um, said they would work on me with financing um, just basically through them because they're out of work, too. And th them and their crews would take so much down and so much a month. Um, which would work with him, um, my wife and I's budget. So um, I could have it if I can have the whole thing resolved by October first because um, I'm basically being deployed again, um, and I, so I won't even be in country by October. So I'll be it, it'll be resolved one way or another. It'll be an empty lot, or the plan will be fulfilled. How long is your deployment? It'll be um, a year. Oh, a year. So my, my plan is to is to get the shell up and uh, on the foundation and the, the windows and the doors in and have it and the roof put on. And then after I get back from my deployment, to go ahead and work on the siding, to the siding and the in, the interior of the of the dwelling. So you're not planning on tearing it down. You're planning on renovating. Renovating, yes. Um, 
the, the reason why I don't want to tear it down is because it's, it's, it was grandfathered in, so it's set, it's set on the half the city lot already. If, if I tore it completely down, uh, according to the rules and regulations on your own website, I'd have to get like 50 yards worth of neighbors to, to sign off on it, um, have to get it retrofitted back. It has to go back so, so many feet from the alley, so many feet from the sidewalk, so many feet from the neighbor's house, which would leave me about four foot by four foot dwelling. So because this was grandfathered in, uh, if you did tear it down, you really couldn't use the lot. That's correct. Okay. Which we saw a little mortgage on it. So, so that, I mean, paying on an empty lot, not, not the ideal situation for, for me. Okay. Anybody else have a question for Sharon? Well, uh, my name is Bruce Bockover, and I work at the city of Greensburg. Mm -hmm. I've been at your property on two or three different occasions, cleaning it up. Right. Listen to your neighbors, and I and I sympathize with you. And you were issued a building permit, nine nineteen of oh seven. Right. Within that time when you started this construction, it was never boarded up, closed up, posted as far as keep out private property. Um, it had access for kids, animals, roads. The yard was so overgrown last year that he was sent three men in there for three hours in the afternoon to clean it up. Right. You yourself were notified. Mm -hmm. As a property owner and as the responsibility of a property owner is to maintain the property. And in my opinion is I feel like the city has been more lenient with you depending on your circumstances. I think within that period of time when I felt like I was overcome by it, I would leave closed it up and made it non accessible to anyone or any animal. And therefore, being in that kind of shape and being like with your neighbors having to live around it, I'm not in favor of it. Because I understand what they went through. And uh, I sympathize with you. Thanks, Bruce. Anyone else have any comments? I guess the only comment I'd, I'd like to make is, I mean, I, I, I guess I understand what you're saying, Bruce, too. I, I just, I, I don't want to be fair and give you give you every opportunity, Shannon, to, to take care of this, but I mean, I, I definitely don't think leaving it without the siding on it for a year is going to be really good either. You know, I mean, even if you get the shell up, at least put the siding on it. Um, you know, I, mean, I, I guess I think if that was done, I, I could probably see giving him some time to get that taken care of. And if it's not, then we tear it down. Or make sure that it's torn down. Well, I, I was going to say, I've, I've got Bruce Amber lined up at, um, to tear the rest of it down and end up making an empty lot. If, um, if, if I can't get it done, or if you all don't give me the, the permission to, to do it, I've already got that lined up. And according to the calendar you handed out, on that would begin on September 1st if you had not started. Well, if or it's not obviously, by well, well right. obviously, if you if you don't give me the permission, I can have that. Oh, if you tear down right away. I mean, there's no sense in keeping up the structure if, if you're not going to grant me the permission to, to redo. Well, and then you're kind of against the gun anyway, because um, when you're obviously not going to get any done when you're deployed. Correct. Um, and that's October. I can't. Okay. <laughs> I won't be here. Roughly, past, it's fall. I, I won't be past up here here past October. Okay. okay. I, I'll be down at Fort Hood September fifteenth, actually. Okay. And then from there, I won't be in touch. Okay. Thanks, man. Does anyone from the audience have anything to say? Um. Could you? Uh, I'm Teresa Schwerin. Thank you. Uh, I live next door and have for, um, I've lived in the neighborhood for 15 years, so they've owned the property since 1999, and I can tell you that um, I have had it. Um, my privacy fence has been completely destroyed. When he started taking down the building, he broke half of it off, um, but before that, his renters would climb on it, skateboard on it, stack things against it, climb on my shed, um, my house was broken into, my car was broken into, my shed was broken into. 
They would throw their trash into my yard. Um, they would shoot guns off that hit my window. I called the cops.